And Roberts is especially fortunate that her sister is able to be her donor. Only half of the people who need bone marrow transplants are able to find a suitable donor. KSOTEL's Eileen Gonzalez spoke to a local man happy to be able to celebrate his birthday today after being one of the first San Antonio bone marrow transplant recipients. And his gratitude has turned into a race to help others find a marrow donor. Jason Cox learned about the importance of bone marrow donation when he was just nine years old and diagnosed with a potentially deadly form of anemia. Well, I was going to need a bone marrow transplant to save my life. And they tested my brothers and it turned out that my oldest brother was a match and went to the transplant process in 1986. So and here we are today. Jason was lucky. Only 30% of people who need a bone marrow transplant find a match in their family. The other 70% rely on a national registry. You can become a donor by visiting the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center, filling out a form, and then taking a swab test. Just rub this on the inside of your cheek. The swabs are sent to a lab, and if you match someone in need, you could be called on to donate. It can be an uncomfortable, but oftentimes non-surgical process. Oftentimes, they talk about how they felt like they did squat, and they, they feel that soreness in the thigh and, and, and hip area, and they say they feel like that for two or three days after their surgery. Mm -hmm. And for the stem cell donation, you actually feel like flu-like symptoms while you're receiving the medication. Jason was so grateful for his second chance, he started a nonprofit to raise awareness about bone marrow donation. It's unacceptable that a person in need of a transplant is going to die if, if they can't find their match. His goal now, to try and build the bone marrow registry in hopes that it will save lives. Eileen Gonzalez, KSAT 12 News. Now part of Jason's goal with his Marrow Me campaign is to get more Hispanic donors since patients who need transplants are most likely to match someone of their own race or ethnicity. Right now there is a need for Hispanic donors. We have more information on how to become a donor on our website, ksat.com.